Hello and welcome to this video. Let me start by asking this. Have you ever faced challenge or been frustrated with or spent more time than you would like to on picking selectors for web elements? The answer I'm sure would be a resounding yes. Selectors hub might just be what you need. Stick around until the end of the video to learn how to have reliable CSS selector and XPath of web elements in a much simpler, efficient and quick manner. I'm Bushra Alam in case we haven't met before and I post videos on trending testing tools. Subscribe to the channel to stay ahead of the game. So without further ado, let's explore Selectors Hub. To begin with, it's a browser extension. It's available for Chrome, Firefox, Edge and Opera. Go ahead and install it. I've already installed it. Once it gets installed, as with any browser extension, it's best to restart the browser. Okay, now let's see what Selectors Hub can do for us. Right click any element and go to Selectors Hub and then select the type of selector you would like to have. The value would be copied and you're good to go. And you could control what options you see here. Just go to Selectors Hub extension and here check or uncheck the selectors as per your needs. Okay, so this is helpful, but Selectors Hub is more powerful than that. So to access all features of Selectors Hub, launch DevTools. Selectors Hub can be found as the last tab in the right pane. Here. Now let's select any element. So the selectors hub will instantly give us relative CSS selector, relative XPath, class name, JS path, absolute XPath, and tag name. It also specifies the count of elements matching the selector. So one means it's unique. Nice. To copy any value, you can simply click on the selector's name or click on the copy icon and the value will be copied for you. Now here if you see the CSS selector and XPath are based on placeholders. But say we don't want to use placeholder. So you can click on this icon set attribute and then let's uncheck placeholders. Now look the CSS selector and XPath aren't based on placeholder. And if you would like to use any specific attribute, then you can also type it here. Say I type placeholder and see. So you can check uncheck attributes or type your specific attribute name to create selectors based on your preferred attributes. Okay, so let's turn this off. You could also turn off these auto generated selectors using this toggle switch. Then, Selectors Hub can also help you write XPath and CSS selector yourself. So let's start typing here. So because our input element is selected, it shows us input. So it says one element matching. Now if I type this, it suggests all possible values. You can pick wherever you like. So there you go, you have your selector. And if you're writing selectors yourself and they have some error, uh, say I do not close this bracket. So selectors hub will point out the error for you. So it says invalid XPath, close square bracket missing. So that's another great feature. It helps save a great deal of time. And to copy the value, you can click on this button. Selectors Hub, I believe, is the only tool that can help you with selectors for Shadow DOM. And also, you could get selectors for SVG elements and for elements within iframe. So, Selectors Hub is a super useful tool for anyone performing web automation. Hope you enjoy working with it. Also, to subscribe to the channel to see more such productivity enhancing tools. Also, the channel contains playlists on trending testing tools like Playwright and Cypress. 
do check them out.